Dogs were primarily bred um, and genetically designed for the era in which human survival at that time. And an example of that is your Labrador Retriever, which is your number one ranking you know, pet quality dog um, right now. They were bred genetically um, to work with a human counter um, partner because part of what they do is they hunt together with human pack as opposed to the dog packs. Uh, so you have uh, behaviors that are associated with, you know, friendly, they're outgoing, they're very people-oriented. Pack drive is actually associated with dogs' um, instinctual behaviors based on being a part of a group. And what's important for that is primarily they um, need the pack in order to survive for protection as well as for hunting. And then the other drive, uh, which is what we call prey drive. So prey drive is uh, part of the dog's natural survival skills for just eating. And there's a sequential um, pattern or, or a behavior that kind of goes with prey drive that we see in dogs, um, often with our domesticated as well as our wild dogs, which tends to start out with a dog that may stalk an animal, or they see movement, and what happens is it sets that predatory behavior into, into play, which generally you'll see a dog stalking, and then they kind of crouch, and then they pounce on it, and then they grab it, then they shake it, and then they de-stuff it. So those are kind of predatory behaviors based on prey drive. And then the third drive is what we call a defensive drive, and that's for self-preservation in um, dogs. And that's split up into two different categories. The first category is what we call fight response and then flight response. So those generally tend to be based on dogs that are guard dogs um, and uh, use some of your uh, hunting uh, breeds will have high defensive drives. Okay, well, all dogs have all drives. Um, the degree depends usually on the breed and then the specific personality or temperament of the dog.